Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I don't know if this is crooked because I don't normally set up my tripod this way. If it's crooked, I'm really sorry. Just try to ignore it because I don't really know how to fix it because I can't tell how crooked it is, so I'm just gonna ignore that. Now, me not being an acrylic painter, I'm not uh, very skilled at acrylic painting. I can follow Bob Ross tutorials and that's pretty much it. So I thought, why not just use some of my mini canvas boards they're not that intimidating, they're pretty small, and I don't want to leave them blank forever, and I feel like if I put it off longer, they're going to be blank forever. So one thing that I actually like to paint with watercolors is like a galaxy scape. I'm going to call it a galaxy scape because I don't know what else to call it. Because I like to do that in watercolor, I thought that would be a little bit easier for me to attempt in acrylic rather than trying something totally random. I do have some like basic acrylic painting supplies. I have a couple brushes that are not that good and then I have a lot of um, little like artist loft paints Now this is because of Bob. I don't know how to acrylic paint very well on my own. Like I've never been good at it even though I've practiced it before. I've never just had the skill really, but when I follow Bob, everything is fine because Bob just makes everything better. I have these acrylic paint pens and I created this, which might be my best acrylic painting. Um, so yeah, so now that you have some background on how my skills with acrylic painting are, well actually you don't because you haven't seen all the bad acrylic paintings I've done, you've just seen this Bob Ross because the other ones I didn't actually keep. So let's actually get started because I actually didn't have lunch, so I'm actually kind of hungry, um, but I want to do this first. Oh, look how tiny and cute this is. There's no way I can screw it up. I do have an actual palette or multiple palettes that I like to use when I do watercolor painting. However, I'm kind of hesitant to put acrylic paint on that because I know that acrylic paint can get like crusty. I do have this like plastic, actually it's not, I don't know what it is, but whatever it is, we're going to use it as a palette. <gasps> Let's oh, oops, it's Thalo. I don't know if I want to use Thalo blue though. These two are like the wrong one. Like this one is the other one. They're also labeled incorrectly. And then I have some white. Oh my god. It looks like whipped cream. So we don't actually have any more white. Just this crusty, gross one. So that's fine. I've got flat brushes. I've got this one. I think I might use... This one because it's kind of soft. This one is very like hard. We're gonna start with this color. Wait, how am I gonna do this without white? I have white gouache so I could do the stars. It's probably the best piece of art I've ever created aside from that Squidward I showed you before because oh, I'm gonna have to use white, so that means I'm gonna have to use the whipped cream. I need to start adding magenta. This is too blue. Oh no, there's too much water. Wait, why is this one like watery? Oh no. Oh, this pretty color is going to save my painting. I love this color. But one thing is that I think my brush is getting too wet. Acrylic dries fast, so I better work a little bit more quickly. This whipped cream white isn't as bad as I thought it would be. I'm kind of scared to even try my other brushes because this one is already doing an okay job and I'm worried I'm gonna screw up the painting more if I start experimenting too much. So I might just stick to this soft brush that's working for me right now. But it's getting so watery. It's not watercolor, I need to tone down the amount of water. It definitely doesn't really look like a galaxy. It looks kind of abstract. So I think I'm just gonna keep going and see what happens. I'm using this so sad. Like, do you see what's happening to this white I'm trying to use? No, that's pretty. I, I say that that's pretty and it's actually like really not looking that good. 
how can I be like so bad at painting something really easy to paint? Is anybody watching this an acrylic painter? Because it's kind of refreshing in comparison to watercolor to have these like really vibrant colors right away and not have to build them up so long. If this is the first video you've ever seen by me, then honestly I do recommend you check out like one of my colored pencil videos or something because this is not really a good representation of my channel. Now that I'm done ranting, I noticed that there's like this really, really red section over here that needs to be cooled down a little bit, toned down. It's a little bit too red. I think I'm gonna add some more red over here actually. Maybe I'm gonna embrace. It's actually, it's, I like it. It's pretty, it's nice. Okay, I'm almost done. I think I'm almost done. I just kind of want to blend some of these colors together. I feel like the more I try to play with it, I'm making it worse. So I'm going to try not to do too much more to it. But I don't like this color down here. So let's try to make it a little bit more purple. <gasps> oh no. I just lifted up paint. It almost looks like there's fingerprints. One thing is I have this really deep blue on this side that I'm not getting anywhere else. Did I mix it with black? Okay, I need more of this one, which is actually the one that is in the wrong package. Oh, I like this so much. Wait, I like this. Even though the colors are a little bit off. It's actually, I should be done by now. I'm almost done. Oh no, oh no, oh no. How do I fix it? Just put a glob. Oh no, that's noticeable actually. I'm lifting up paint now by accident, which means I'm using too much. I think I can only fix those areas that got paint lifted if I let it dry. Oh my god. It's not fixing. It's getting worse. Okay, make sure my brush is dry. Maybe that's the problem. Okay, I think that's fine. Okay, I don't know what happened, but I think it's kind of fixed. I think it could just use a couple of touches here and there. Mm, Ta-da! Wow, so amazing. Okay, now I know what I want to do. I want to add the stars. I'm going to use gouache. I'm going to use also um, this brush because it has like... No, this is kind of big. Do I have another choice? No. So this brush it is. So just a teeny teeny bit. Just a teeny, oh, okay. Um, I don't wanna make too much of a mess. Oh no, my desk. Uh -huh. Just zoom in on this, it's gonna be amazing. Wow. Oh, they're so pretty. I want some bigger stars though. Wow. Actually, it doesn't look bad. I want more stars, but I don't want to overdo it. Maybe that's enough. I don't know if there's enough stars. Hold on. I mean, it looks like there's enough. I think I'm just gonna add a little bit. See, this is why. Every time I say, oh, I'm just gonna do this, and then I actually mess something up. I think that's enough. Okay, now I'm happy with it. Okay, never mind. I was gonna try to do something fancy, but I take it back because I'm scared that I'm gonna ruin what I've created, which is obviously just amazing. I wanna sign it, but I'm gonna have to wait for it to dry. That's not good. I think I need to put it back in. Can I even put it back in? I'm gonna try. I'm just gonna make a mess trying to do this. I'm gonna leave it, see if it'll go back. All right guys, so it's a little bit later. It's actually a couple of days later um, from when I did the first galaxy painting and that day I only really had time to do this one, but I thought it would be fun to try a couple different color schemes. I did find a white. This is just, um, I think this is something you would use to prime a canvas usually. We're gonna start with a pink one and yeah, let's see how this goes. 
Um, I have to say that this matte acrylic white kind of now looks like icing, so the other one looked like whipped cream, and this one looks like icing. Okay, I hate that it's like watery again. I mean, it's got to be something that I'm doing, but I really don't like it. Okay, and that's the one. I think it looks a little bit weird, but I kind of like it actually. So I'm going to leave that one as is, and now I'm going to do what I'm actually really excited about. So let me show you. Hold on. So, okay. This is the color scheme that I'm going to do for the second one. So super, super excited for this one. So this one actually came out kind of weird and like oceany and strange and also the green paint I really don't like this green paint at all but uh, besides that I really like the colors in this and this one is definitely more oceany looking compared to this oops compared to this one so I think I'm gonna go ahead and do the stars now I'm kind of struggling with how much water oh that's perfect I guess Alright guys, well there you have it. I did three different celestial galaxy paintings. Um, I'm pretty sure I still like the colors because this one is the most like galaxy-like. The other two are a bit abstract. I don't even know if this one looks like a galaxy. I kind of like these two better, but yeah, this is what I came up with. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching through the entire video. If you did so, that is amazing and you have so much patience. Also, I realize that these are very easy acrylic paintings to do, so obviously that's why I chose to do these types of paintings because I'm not really very skilled in acrylic painting. But that's all I have for today, guys. I'm gonna clean up because, well, I cleaned up my desk after this one and then I learned my lesson and didn't make as much of a mess with the other two, but I still need to clean up a bit. But yeah, so thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.